Hey guys, back on with another new video today. Right now we're going to look at top 5 side loaded Android apps on the Blackberry Playbook. And we're going to start off first with a game, Pool Break Pro. This is my favorite pool game that I've ever found so far. Awesome graphics, lots of options as you can see. Let me go back. There's four games to start with. Pool Snooker, Karom, and Crokinole. I don't know if I pronounced those right, but that's how I pronounce them. And Pool, we already have lots of options, as you can see. Pool Drill, Place and Shot, Billiards, One Pocket Straight Pool. And we're going to try 8-Ball quickly here. you can uh, move the ball to start wherever you like nice easy interface there's sounds I scratched right off the bat there I'm playing by myself against myself and uh, yeah as I said really nice graphics on this game double tap you have the multi-touch you can move the camera wherever you like this is really easy to use as you can see the sounds work well you can change the brightness of the background and change views and angles there Zoom. And the zoom is not working on this side. There's the zoom. You need to know how to use it. You just swipe your finger across the screen with it selected. And if we swipe down from the top there's lots of menu options up here and change the settings so you can change the physics if it's not up to your likings so that's pool break pro on the blackberry playbook side loaded now we're going to check out es file explorer this is my favorite Android file explorer. I am rooted still. I'm on the 2.0 beta 6149. So with this file explorer, I can still access my root files from this app, which is really nice. There's focused on it now. As you can see, there's a nice uh, raindrop theme. You swipe down at the top there. Oh, there it is. You get your settings menu, theme, theme style. Go to water drop and there's dream. You can try that one. So there's the dream one. It's really easy to use. Nice interface, very organized. It's even almost easier on the eyes than the uh, the native picture browser. So that's ES File Explorer. Next, I have Get Glue. If you haven't heard of this, check it out. This one you collect stickers for checking into places. So if you're one of those social butterflies on Twitter, on Facebook, MySpace, LinkedIn, Foursquare you name it this is another one this one you as I said collect stickers so you can see my stickers here uh, over here my last three stickers open it up even further and it tells you about the stickers how I got them and so on go back into I went too far 
Um, you can send messages to each other. You can follow people. So here's the check-in. I'm on my playbook right now, so I'm thinking about a topic using my playbook. Lots of things I've already checked into. I'm going to share it on Facebook and Twitter. If I hit the check-in button, there we go. See, I can rate it. I'm not going to rate it right now. It tells me I'm 46 check-ins away from unlocking the Elite fan sticker. I'm number one on my friends, so I don't have any friends, really. It's a lot funner if you have lots of people following. I have maybe 11 right now, so you can definitely check it out. Follow me. I've been here 54 times, so it even tells you lots of information. Hit done, and now you're at the comment screen of that topic. So you hit the check in there to go back to your check in. So if you're watching a show, check in, movie, check in, listening to an artist. It does not have everything in it, but it does have a heck of a lot. Even some of the crazy death metal, dubstep type music I listen to. So that's a cool app. Check it out. Get glue. Collect some stickers. Next we have Skitch. This is an annotation app. Note taking, um, saving notes, pictures, and etc. And it works with Evernote as well. This is from the makers of Evernote. So it's really nice, really easy to use. Go into the settings. Change the opacity. There's lots of options. We'll go back. I can move parts around. Trash single parts. Link it up with my Evernote. We're already at the home screen. There's Evernote, so I can sign in if I want to. But uh, I'm not going to sign into that right now. Uh, the gallery. I don't have anything. I just reamped it today. I can go into my inside the uh, the playbook. As you can see, I've got access there. And because it's an Android sideload, oh, usually doesn't have access to the camera, but this app does. And I just figured that one out. So there's a little treat for you guys. It's dark under there, under the desk. But uh, the camera function works on Skitch, which is really nice. So we'll exit out of that one. We'll check out Tweetcaster Pro next. You're a Twitter fan, check it out. You follow me on Twitter at Sushi Stew. As you can see, I got a flashing symbol over here. So it's Smartless. The new update on Tweetcaster. Add a smart list. We're going to go back to the main menu. So it's easy to read, really nice looking interface. All the messages sent to me, uh, private messages, all my favorites, and then as we said, the list. Hit the back button so you can add more accounts on here. I got my sushi stew, got trends down here, how, who to follow, search. We can even look nearby with the uh, GPS function determining location right now nothing nearby login with Facebook but I'm not gonna do that so we'll go back in there And that's uh, Tweetcaster Pro.
swipe down you have your settings there we go that's why it was acting up getting a call <clears throat> so we can customize it it's got themes in it which is really nice go to dark exit now we'll bring it back up calling my phone home phone too so now it's nice and dark so tweetcaster pro really awesome twitter client pull down to refresh search party really nice interactive app there tweetcaster pro side loaded on the playbook thanks for watching guys as i said i'll have links for all five check them out they were all free thanks for watching peace